could be mistaken for a dirty iceberg built from blocks. And odds are you've come very close to it. I mean, really close and didn't even know it was here. It's been here for four years, so. Yeah, years. Yeah, there, there's a lot of work that has to happen in this zone. Dave Where Sowers oversees construction of the new tunnel under Seattle for the Washington State Department of Transportation. Yeah, it's all part of the tunnel project. And no, it's not made from ice. Rather than putting earth, you know, dirt in here, decided to use a lightweight fill um, to create the embankment that supports the detour, which is just above our heads. It's called geofoam, and it won't be long till you're driving right through here. Call this a form of working ahead. I want to say it's a couple of weeks at the most to take all this out. The northbound ramp from Royal Brougham has actually been here all the time. You've actually been driving over the top of it, but it's been buried. It's been filled with 150 feet of this geofoam, all of which is coming out. The tunnel is finished. But while the lights may be on, it still needs to be plugged into traffic. For three weeks, starting on January 11th, there will be no Highway 99 through the city. Everything that can be done to get ready for that day is being done or has been completed. For a target opening of February 4th, when we'll all get to drive quite literally under downtown Seattle. Glenn Farley, King 5 News. So once again, you'll need to plan for that three week shutdown, work from home, figure out your bus and train routes, and then the tunnel opens. Washed out says there will be no toll to drive through it until sometime next summer.